In this video, let us continue to solve problems based on the first principle of mathematical induction. And here we've got a problem which says, uh, prove by the mathematical induction that for all values of n belonging to natural numbers, that 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus dot 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 plus n squared equals 1 by 6 times n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. Right, so the first step as usual, I mean, just that the statement here is different. The method of solving this is no different from the previous problem that we solved in the last video, right? So what we have to do is let us let p of n be the statement 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus dot 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 plus n squared equals 1 by 6 times n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. So this is the first starting step as usual. The next step is we got to test this with 1, the value of 1. So let p of n be 1. Then in that case, it will just be 1 square, which is again 1, equals 1 by 6 times n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1, right? So now, we have to substitute the value of n by 1. So we have p of 1 as 1 equals 1 by 6 times 1 times 1 plus 1 times 2 times 1 is just 1 so 2 plus 1 so we have 1 plus 1 is 2 here 2 times 1 is just 2 and then we have 2 plus 1 is 3 so 3 times 2 is going to be 6 and then the 6 and 6 gets cancelled and we have 1 so therefore p of 1 is true right if you do please solve this you'll get 1 so for 1 it is true again if you substitute 2 you will have to go till 2 square 1 square plus 2 square here we just stop with 1 square right if you substitute 2 you just have to go to 2 square if you substitute 3 you just have to go till 3 square so 1 square plus 2 square is 5 5 plus 3 square is what 3 square is 9 9 plus 5 is 14 so you will get 14 eventually when you substitute 3 here so that's how it goes on but we can't prove it like that we need to you know prove it definitively you know we need to close it because this will just keep going on and on and on. So the next step, we need to assume that, we need to assume that P of M is true. So if P of M is true, then we'll have P of M is a statement 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus dot 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 plus in the place of N, it will be M squared equal to 1 by 6 M in the place of N, it will be M times m plus 1 times 2m plus 1, right? So this will what it will be once you assume that p of m is true. So the major step comes here. What we have is next we have to prove or we have to show that p of m plus 1 is also true. So how do you do that? Here we are. So now p of m plus 1 will be equal to 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus dot 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 plus m square plus m plus 1 the whole square, right? If it is m minus 1, it will be before m. If it is m plus 1, it will obviously be after m. So, this will be equal to 1 by 6 times m times m plus 1 times 2m plus 1. So, how do we proceed next? As you can see, this is equal to this, right? So here also we have the same group. So this should be replaced by this one. 1 by 6 times m times m plus 1 times 2 m plus 1 plus m plus 1 the whole square. Just add this as usual. Work this out and conclude at this step. All right? Just like how I'm going to do now. So now what we'll do is uh, we will... Now, this is definitely in the form of fraction, right? I mean, we can write this, the whole thing divided by 6, right? So, if you see it in that case, it will be m times m plus 1 times 2m plus 1 plus m plus 1, the whole square. If you want the entire thing to be divided by 6, then you have to multiply this term by 6, right? This is already by 6, so that's not an issue. But this one is not divided by 6. So if you just write by 6, it will change the 
whole meaning of this. So if you multiply it, when you divide it by 6 again, 6 and 6 gets cancelled and we come back to this form. So this doesn't change anything. So now taking out 1 by 6, we have just this one. m times m plus 1 times 2m plus 1 plus 6 times m plus 1, the whole square. Alright, so if you see inside these square brackets, you can see that m plus 1 is same in both the terms. So taking out m plus 1, we have m times 2m plus 1 plus just 6 times m plus 1. m plus 1 whole square is nothing but m plus 1 times m plus 1, right? So one of the m plus 1 is taken outside. It's factored. So now we are left with this one. So let's solve that now separately. So 1 by 6 times m plus 1 2m squared plus m times 1 gives you m plus 6 times m is 6m plus 6 times 1 is just 6. So now we'll have to continue this on a new sheet. So let us continue from here. So what we have is uh, 1 by 6 times m plus 1 times 2m squared plus m plus 6m plus 6. This was what we had in the last step. So continuing from there, we have 1 by 6 times m plus 1 times 2m squared plus m plus 6m is uh, 7m plus 6. So this is a quadratic equation. Let me solve this quadratic equation out for you. So 2 times 6 is 12. So you need to uh, split 12 in such a way that if you add it, you're going to get 7. Multiply it, you're going to get 12. So we have 2m squared. So 4 times 3 is what comes to my mind first. So 4m plus 3m gives you 7. 4 times 3 gives you 12. So now grouping it, take out 2m from the first grouping. So we have m plus 2 and it should be m plus 2 here. So here it is, it will be plus 3. So plus 3. So now taking out m plus 2, we have 2m plus 3. So the factors of this quadratic equation is m plus 2 times 2m plus 3. So we have 1 by 6 times m plus 1. In the place of 2m square plus 7m plus 6, we write the factors of it, m plus 2 times 2m plus 3. It doesn't stop here because you need to write this in such a way that, you know, we have to go back to the question. So we'll write this equation like this, m plus 1. m plus 2 will be written as m plus 1 plus 1. So, say for example, let me use a bigger bracket here to differentiate it. So, here you have smaller brackets. And then you write this as 2 times m plus 1 plus 1. You do not have to break your head about, you know, splitting this. You just have to see the question. Let me write the question here. 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus dot 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 plus n square gives you 1 by 6 times n times n plus 1 plus 2n plus 1. So this was the question. So if you compare this in the place of n, we have m plus 1. In the place of n plus 1, we have m plus 1 plus 1. And in the place of n, we have m plus 1. So hence, p of m plus 1 is also true. Therefore, we proved that 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus dot 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 n square equals 1 by 6 times n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. And as far as splitting this, do, I told you do not worry about it, right? You just have to write the same thing, but in the place of n, write n plus 1 and check when you solve, are you going to get back this? If you do, then that's the way to write it. That's the simplest way, all right? So that ends this problem as well as this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on first principle of mathematical induction.